Well, now, I get all kinds of magazines, and somebody sends me a very sophisticated, slick paper magazine written in the up-at-the-up-with-it style called The Avenue. I never paid any money for it, but it's a good magazine, has beautiful pictures in it, and great advertisements. And I always read the advertisements. And here's one here from a shop on 57th Street, one of the finest shops in New York City. And here it pictures a machine that has five dials on it. And naturally, it has a very sophisticated name. It's called Environmental Sound X. Now, what in the world that means, I would never know. Here's what this machine will do for you. It's a solid-state sound conditioner which promotes sleep and relaxation and relief from stress. It simulates white sound, white sound in quotes, for screening out unwanted noises, produces simple breaking wave patterns, random surf effects, simulates rain producing light or gentle downpour of rain. <laughs> also simulates waterfall, conditions the noise around you anywhere. Price, $129.95. Now, what they promised for $129.95, we're going to give you this morning for nothing. <laughs> or at least whatever you put in the collection plate. Now, you know, I have no doubt at all that that machine will do everything it promises, and I'm half sold on purchasing it. But we don't need that, because we have available to us right this minute the greatest scientist in stress reduction the world ever knew. And he once said, Peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Already, the magic of those words is not simulating peace, but actually producing peace in your mind. And again he said, These things have I spoken unto you, that my peace might be in you. Where? Ever or whenever was there a personality who had such peace as he possessed, the peace that passeth all understanding. And he says that peace may be in you. Now it so happens that we live in an uptight, psyched up, tensed up, Generation. I've often thought about the patron saints. You know, the Irish are very proud of of Saint Patrick. He was their patron saint, and Saint George is the patron saint of the British. I've often wondered, have the Americans a patron saint? And I've decided that we have although he's never been officially designated by the Congress of the United States. But he has been designated by the action of the people. Our patron saint is Saint Vitus. We're a nervous, high-strung generation of people. I met a man on the street who said to me, 
Do you like this town? Referring to New York, I said, well, yeah, I've lived here a long while. I wouldn't want to live anyplace else. I love this place. Well, he said, how in the world do you stand it? And I said, well, I didn't have a chance to tell him how I stood it. But he says, you know, the very air of this town is filled with tension. I looked up at the air. And I said, I'll grant you, the air is pretty dirty. It's filled with all kinds of things. But there isn't any tension up there in the air. The tension is in the mind of the people who breathe the air.